Hi guys, Jerry Corley here, StandUpComedyClinic.com. It's Labor Day, I'm sitting in my kitchen, and I was writing some jokes, and I wanted to show you this process, how to write current events jokes, when it's a slow news cycle. Usually on a three-day weekend, right, this being Labor Day, uh, it can sometimes be a slow news cycle, so how do you find the material to be able to crank out some jokes? You're going to still have assignments, so I just wanted to stop what I was doing and sort of engage the computer in the process and show you guys how I go about this. So here we go. Let's take a look. Okay. So what I did was I just, one, one of the things I do when I'm doing uh, late night jokes is if it's a slow news day and I can't seem to find any really good uh, material, I will go to USA Today. I will see what's trending on Twitter. I will see what's going on in sports and in Hollywood culture, celebrity culture. So the first thing I did, I, I went to sports. This came up, Julian Edelman on Tom, on Tom Brady. It's like one of your buddies going to jail. When you're doing headline jokes, sometimes the joke is not in the headline. Do not be a headline skimmer. Look at the story. It's in the first two paragraphs of the story where your setup line is. So here it is. New England Patriots wide receiver Julian Edelman called it pretty cool that the club has a large mural of quarterback Tom Brady on the lighthouse. Gillette Stadium, but he says, uh, he says, I'm not going to lie. It's like one of your buddies going to jail. One of the things we look for in comedy is two converging ideas. In this case, we have football and we have jail. So what I did was I immediately rolled over to a document and I created a table. And the table is a Patriots wide receiver. Julian Edelman said that Tom Brady's suspension is like a friend going to jail. So I make a column for football and a column for jail. So here we have, um, you could see the lists. So people, places, events, cliches, words, phrases, uh, and don't forget opposites. And once I have this, this list, as I'm making the list, some ideas are going to come to me. And as the ideas come to me, I jump down and I write them down if, if it's a joke. Three questions I ask. Is there an assumption that can be shattered? Uh, is there a double entendre play? Or number three, are the two dissimilar ideas converging? Every time I do a joke, by the way, I always reiterate the setup. Patriot receiver, did you guys hear this? Patriots receiver Julian Edelman told ESPN that Tom Brady's suspension is a lot like a friend going to jail. Yeah, Tom Brady's suspension is nothing like going to jail. In, in jail, you get three squares a day and a threat of anal rape. At home, you get Giselle Bunchen. Of course, Tom Brady's wife is Giselle, uh, supermodel Giselle Bunchen. So even if you put Giselle in orange coveralls and did anal, it's still nothing like jail. Number three, I don't think, um, I don't think of it as being away from the NFL. Think of it as quality time with a supermodel. Number four, a page receiver Julian Edelman told ESPN that Tom Brady's suspension is a lot like a friend going to jail. Have you been to jail? There were a hell of a lot more tattoos in the NFL. Going the other way, because the assumption would be that in prison they have a lot more tattoos. Um, it's like uh, Julian Edelman says that, uh, told ESPN that Tom Brady's suspension is a lot like a friend going to jail. That must suck, too, because they don't let you break the rules in jail. Now, if you're not a Patriots fan, of course, your Patriots are always mired, seem to be mired under this, this cloak of cheating. So that would work for some people. Other people wouldn't work for probably not going to work in a late night situation where you're trying to grasp most of the audience. So uh, I like this one. It's like uh, Patriots receiver uh, Julian Edelman told ESPN that Tom Brady's suspension is a lot like a friend going to jail. Michael Vick said, uh, no, 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 it's not. Now, if you follow this story, you know, Michael Vick, of course, did actual time in jail. Number eight, I've had friends in jail, and there's one subject that never came up, deflated balls. In fact, if there was a test in jail that allowed them to test balls, 7 out of 10 balls would probably be overpressure. Number 10, have you seen the thugs in the NFL? Being on the field is more like being in jail. Except in jail, you get a five, if you get a five-man blitz, you're probably going to lose more than just yardage. And the NFL has more tattoos. Again, trying to work that NFL tattoo joke in there. So what I saw as a possibility in this in this exercise for a Jimmy Fallon segment, Pros and Cons. If you're not following Pros and Cons, you should check it out. It's one of Jimmy Fallon's go-to desk pieces. And if you write jokes for desk pieces, it's awesome. Uh, you'll get, um, it's like part of a sketch. You get paid for that. So pros, uh, in football, Tom Brady is a quarterback. Cons, so if we did like a special Jimmy Fallon segment, Pros and Cons, it would be um, 
Um, a special segment of pros and cons being football and not football be like, in football, Tom Brady is a quarterback. In jail, he's a tight end. In football, pass interference is a penalty. In jail, pass interference is a cock block. In football, the guy you walk up to uh, from behind and put your hands between his legs is called the center. In jail, he's called your bitch. In football, helmet-to-helmet contact is a personal foul. In jail, it's foreplay. In football, the term ground and pound is used to describe how the offense moves the football up the middle. In jail, ground and pound is an offensive move up your middle. In football, a five-man blitz is a defensive move that usually results in a loss of yards. In jail, if you get a five-man blitz, you, you, you lose yards, consciousness, and probably your manhood. In football, you can get a ticket for the whole season. In jail, you can get life. So, as you can see, uh, there's a ton of jokes that came out of this. Uh, in jail, I don't even think Belichick would have Brady run a naked bootleg. Let's see, here's another one. Uh, it's like holding is what happens after lights out. Also, when, it's, when we're looking at current events jokes and it is a slow, day, a slow news weekend or slow news day, you look at the broader sense of what else is happening around us. Is, is summer is coming to an end because it's Labor Day. It's the end of summer. So we have Labor Day, national holidays, celebrity culture. Go to TMZ, find out what's happening with Hollywood culture there. Evergreen jokes like factoids, quotes, product claims. Uh, and then go to a, a website called On This Day or theweek.com. So I hope you in, enjoyed that little current events uh, demo right there. Again, if there's a slow news, news day, there's always a way to find material. And a lot of times, just don't look for funny stuff. Just find a statement that has two dissimilar ideas converging to your listening technique. You'll come up with jokes. You can even do compare and contrast. You can do pros and cons. So just sitting down to breakfast on Labor Day, slow news day, I wanted to get it down on the, um, on the computer for you so that you can actually see it in the demo. So I hope this help to motivate you and inspire you to write jokes when you don't seem to have uh, anything happening, you know? Hey, do me a favor. Uh, leave me some comments down below, and I would love to hear what your thoughts are on this particular process, and if you came up with your own jokes for this headline, Julian Edelman told ESPN that Tom Brady's suspension is, is like a friend going to jail. So see what you come up with, and I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.